So anyway, this is Alex here, and in today's video, I want to talk about the best free uh, auto-vlogging tool that you can use. So there's a lot of auto-vlogging tools here uh, that you'll see on YouTube, that you'll see online. A lot of them, well, all of them, 99% uh, of them cost a significant amount of money. If you're already paying for tools like SEMrush or ChatGPT, uh, it just all adds up, man. And sometimes you just want something that's going to be good enough for a client side or just to try something out on your own without having to spend all this money on tools, especially with something you don't know if it's going to work for sure. So that tool uh, is Human Writer. I've talked about this before. Uh, if I remember, if I can figure it out, I'll link a video uh, at the top. But I've talked about this before, and it is just the best free auto-blogging uh, tool that is that I found online. Now, I'll put the link to this below, but it's humanwriter.com, and you can, visit the, you can visit their site to see kind of everything you need to do to uh, set it up. Basically, you do have to be paying for uh, you do have to set up an account on uh, OpenAI Playground, so you do have to add your key uh, to the actual uh, to the actual tool, uh, and you would just do that here in OpenAI settings, uh, and then from there you can get started. Uh, and let me just show you why I like it, uh, and like I said, it's completely free, except for the credits that it uses um, for the tools uh, or for this tool uh, from your OpenAI account. And just to show you kind of the costs, right? So for 35 articles, it's using 36 cents, so about one, one cent per article, right? 90 cents for 159 articles. Uh, you can see it's, it's really cheap to use. And yeah, so in today's video, I just wanted to show you why I like it, how to use it, how to get it set up, or how to start using it really easily uh, to create content for your own niche sites. Now let's say, uh, just for the purpose of this video, uh, I've shown you guys how to find niche ideas before, or blog post ideas before. Uh, but if you don't know how, then just do a YouTube search for it. But for this post, I'm going to say, I'm going to go with my uh, new, uh, Nova Scotia site. So I'm just going to say, you can use ChatGPT for this. You can use ChatGPT4 or 3.5 or Google Bar. It doesn't matter. Please give me 25 blog post ideas for my website about Nova Scotia covering various topics. So now this is just going to populate uh, into 25 blog post ideas. Once you have these ideas, right, you're just gonna add them here, and let me just start this, uh, and then I'll pop back into ChatGPT. I'm just gonna pause it for a quick second while these uh, populate, and I'll join you guys in just another second. All right, this took a minute to populate the blog post ideas, uh, but what you can now do is take the blog post ideas, go back to Human Writer, pop it into here, right? You just added all your blog post title ideas uh, into the multiple article section of Human Writer. Right now, it's one of these basic features it has is add FAQs. Boom, obviously you would want to click add. Just help with SEO. And now you want to pop down into the advanced options. So you can choose your AI model, right? 3.5 turbo or ChatGPT4. Uh, I like ChatGPT4. You can add bullet points, right? And it lets you to add one section randomly or to all sections. I like to do randomly. I don't want to have it 2,000 words. The reason for this is you don't want to bump out like 100,000 words of content uh, across 45 or 50 articles have none of them rank or have very few of them rank. I like to have it smaller, that way if I could, that, the content's smaller. That way if I can see content starting to rank on Google Search Console, I can go back in the future and then update it uh, using ChatGPT4 or Google Bard. Right, language is cool because you can write in all different languages, tone, right, there's different tones here. There's really no need to do this anymore uh, because Google can, Google can detect the AI no matter what. And what is cool is you can give prompts for the headings, for the content, and for the FAQs. Right, so if you want to add custom prompts just to kind of format your headings or your FAQs or you want special special features in the content, you can add all that here and the tool will consider it. Uh, but I'm just gonna go ahead and click generate articles. What it's gonna do now, it's gonna redirect you to the actual article uh, creation page. Uh, and as you can see here, it says zero of zero completed articles, right? And the titles will start to appear. So I'm just gonna pause this for a second, uh, let this populate through. And then when it's done, I'm gonna join you guys Take a look at how long it took, right? 6.53 now, and uh, see what you can do from here, uh, which is really cool. But yeah, we'll just see you guys in a second. All right, hey guys, got a little bit distracted, but we're back with the 25 articles. It only costs 20 cents for 25 articles. They're all about 1,200 words, right? Now, what's cool from here is you can go to Actions, right? And you can either download out everything, you can push to WordPress, which is really cool, or upload to cloud. When you push to WordPress, you can actually, um, I don't know why this is uh, showing, but anyways, what you can actually do, oh, this was an old site. Uh, what you can actually do is push these, push all this content to WordPress, right? 
So you add your URL, you add the username and everything, uh, and then you just have to connect it on your on the WordPress side, and then you can have everything uploaded to WordPress uh, automatically, right? You can even schedule uh, all the articles. It's amazing, right? It's a fantastic way to do it. I prefer to add it manually just so I can add uh, links and images and stuff. And now I know there is ways, I know there are ways to do this uh, with the playground, with a custom GPT, but it's kind of one and done, right? So if you're not auto blogging, if you're not paying for one of these tools, which is like gonna be, you know, 50, 60, $100 a month for 30, 50, 100 articles, uh, and then scaling from there, this is the easiest, cheapest, fastest way to do it. Uh, now, of course, I did no keyword research for these, uh, but basically what you would then do from here is just take this content, right? It's uh, This one was 1,400 words. You got the FAQ. Uh, there should be some bullet points somewhere. Uh, you got some bullet points there, right? Kind of like as a key takeaway section. Uh, and yeah, and then you would just post it on your own WordPress site. It's it's really that easy. Uh, these It all generated really quickly, like within probably 10 minutes or 25 articles. So in an hour, right, with manual editing, with manual uploading um, to WordPress, you could probably do 30, 40 of these uh, at a time, especially once you have the uh, images and if you're using an open AI, AI or if you're using the playground for internal linking, like I prefer to do, as opposed to just the kind of one-click uh, custom GPT uh, or open AI uh, kind of blog post creators. Uh, but yeah, this, like I said, guys, super free, super easy way to create content at scale. Uh, you are gonna have to have OpenAI set up, uh, your playground set up, uh, paying for having your credit card set up on the account, uh, especially if you wanna use ChatGPT4, uh, but you can use 3.5, you're just gonna have to have some cash on the account for uh, credits. But as you guys saw here, the actual cost is, is 20 cents for 25 articles. Guys, that's amazing, it's completely free. You can easily upload to WordPress. Check it out, humanwriter.com, I'll post a link down below. As always, you guys, Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.